Hey, welcome to the studio. Thank you for joining me. I'm Richard Robinson in New Zealand and today we're going to paint this. So this is Mangafai Beach in Northland, New Zealand. It's just up the road from me. It's a beautiful surf beach and uh, it's got fantastic big sand dunes to run down or boogie board down. You see lots of kids doing that and some grown-ups. And today we're going to focus on making a really vibrant, expressive painting from this somewhat dull photograph. And I'm going to show you exactly how I go about doing that. So first of all, I'm going to show you exactly how I designed this in the iPad on a program called Procreate. And I'll be working right over top of the photograph and you'll see exactly how I make all the changes to make this a more vibrant, more expressive painting. Then we're going to take that design to the canvas and I'm going to show you how I prepare that canvas to make a more vibrant painting. I'm going to show you exactly what colors I use, what brushes I use. I'm going to show you every step of the process including the color mixing and how to create expressive, vibrant brushwork and beautiful bold colors. And once you've seen the process, you can use this technique in any subject that you want to create a more vibrant, expressive painting. So I hope you'll join me and painting Mungify Beach. So here's this beautiful scene of Mungify, uh, looking up the coast north and way in the distance you see Whangarei Heads. And my house where I live is sort of halfway between this point and Whangarei Heads on Bream Bay. And this sketch here that I've done is in preparation for the painting and based roughly on the colors in this one and I wanted to have some of the looseness of this so you can see how it's changed from the actual photo to a really vibrant colorful expressive digital sketch okay so what I can do is actually take you through the process. This is the very start where I get the photo. And you see that in the background, I'm actually increasing the size of the mountains in the distance because whenever you take a photo with a 35mm camera, which is the default camera of a, of a phone, it tends to shrink things in the distance quite a lot. So if you want a more true-to-life perspective, you'll just increase the size of things in the distance, like the mountain there. And you can see I just did that there, right? Just increase the size of it. Okay. So let's take this one to the canvas and see how it comes out. Okay, so let's get started. I've got a 14 inch square board here which has been triple primed with acrylic gesso. I'm just going to start off with a base coat of color. It's really punchy. So I've got uh, quinacridone magenta there, arillamide yellow, and some white. Doesn't have to be exactly those colors. You could start off with any colors you like I'm using a big brush. I'm just going to dash the paint on there to start with and then mix some white into it and some water. Pretty punchy. So the idea is just to get a nice colorful undercoat and let some of the colors show through in the finished layers. What that's going to do is give the painting a bit more zing color wise and also a bit more harmony. Remember if you do rough, like quick marks, you get opportunities for the background 
color to show through if you don't paint over those you know so um, those are pretty neat to leave in so the key is really just to keep it working while it's wet now with uh, oils you don't have to rush so much so uh, it's a lot easier on the nerves <laughs> That feels better. Change brush. Some yellow and red and a bit of white. I'll figure out where that line of that beach is because there's some little details in there now let's get into the June grasses so just grab some yellow ochre and block in a big shape add more red as it comes over this way further away from the light or into soft shadow so just Take care of the nature of your brush strokes here. These, if you brush up, it looks like grasses. But also think about what's underneath that stroke as well. So that's grasses as well, generally, or it could be sand. So think about the top and the bottom of your brush stroke. Just merging it in with the darks there. Now I add a little more white again. A little bit of water. And brush up into those dark areas. And then some warmer ones because those ones are in the shade now these ones will be in the light so white and yellow and we're done Thanks for watching all the way. Hope you painted with me or are going to paint with me. There's the finished painting. Pretty vibrant and expressive. Um, so if there's just a few takeaways I'd like you to take away. Uh, first would be to not settle for the vibrancy that you're seeing in the photograph, if you're using a photograph. I mean, you can do this uh, painting outdoors as well but with the photograph it's much easier you just on your phone or whatever device you have you can increase the saturation of the colors and then paint from that and just play around with all those settings to find out uh, the degree of color that you that suits you and that you would like to see yourself achieve in a painting and even don't stop there like once you've got it to that level which you, you, you like then you can just even push it even further like I did with the red here in the foreground and you saw the design process that I used uh, where I I'd painted two paintings similar to this and I used those for inspiration and color inspiration at the start of in that design process um, and that's a really powerful thing to paint multiple paintings of a scene of the same scene um, doesn't have to be exactly the same but 
uh, getting a handle on how that scene works and how light plays across that scene and how much you can push the colors in the scene. Doing all that multiple times just makes you more able to push ideas in the next painting. So a very, very powerful, very valuable way to work is to do things in series, as Monet found out. So I hope that helps and I look forward to seeing what you come up with. So remember to post those up onto the video page as a place where you can upload the photo of your painting and uh, also the res a resource photo if you work from something different as well would be handy. So yeah, enjoy. <laughs>